RC charger. So if I'm uh, charging some batteries and I'm out in the yard or something, you know, what you're not supposed to do, you're supposed to always be, you're never supposed to leave batteries unattended while they're charging. What's going on guys? I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe. Uh, it's been raining. It's been raining here in the Carolinas for the last two weeks. No bashing going on, no crawling. We have had a couple days we've had a little bit of sunshine, but uh, I've been at work those days. So I don't know if I'm gonna have a video this Sunday or not. Usually I've got my videos scheduled to uh, drop every every week every sunday and i'm usually two weeks ahead but right now i'm dead even because of the rain so hopefully we can get back to making some videos i got some stuff lined up for sunday that is if i don't have to work i thought today i'd just show you how i charge and store my lipo batteries because i know it's a big issue in our hobby and uh so let's get into this video and i'm going to show you how i store my batteries and i hope you enjoy this video let me go ahead and put this disclaimer right here. Never charge a battery in your house, a LiPo battery. Never charge it in your house. Never charge a LiPo battery unattended. And always be safe with these things. It's, you can never be too safe when you're charging LiPo batteries. Always store them in like a um, ammo box or a gun safe or even a fireproof safe. And uh, just be safe about it. And the reason you don't want to charge them in your house is if one was to go up in here and this was to create a lot of smoke, it's not going to create as much damage as far as smoke damage out here. There's no uh, seats, chairs, couches, expensive stuff made of fabric that's going to soak up all them fumes and you're going to actually have to probably throw it away, have it professionally clean. It's going to cost you a lot of money. Out here all we're going to have to do is probably throw away some office chairs and paint a little bit and we'll be back in business well that's it and i hope you enjoy this video okay here is where i store and charge my batteries uh, this is just a lipo bag that i carry when i go out put it in my backpack i've got the cell uh checker where you can check each cell this is just mainly where i keep my battery stuff here's my ammo box i store them up here in the ammo box and a lot of people, they drill holes in an ammo box. But what I did, I actually took the rubber seal out of the ammo box, cut half of it out, threw half of, of it away, and put the other half back in there. That way you have that little bit of pressure to hold it last. If you take that gasket all the way out, this will just be loose, and it could come unlast. I store them in here, and... Uh, I charge them down here in this right here. It's got a light in there. It's light activated. It also has a camera in there and the camera also senses uh, senses noise. So if I do have a, a, a lipo go up, I've got a uh, smoke alarm. I guess you can see it uh, right up there and it will go off. And then it will send that uh, camera will pick up that noise and then it will uh, send me alert on my phone and I get the alert and uh, right there is a view of the uh, RC charger so if I'm uh, charging some batteries and I'm out in the yard or something you know what you're not supposed to do you're supposed to always be you're never supposed to leave batteries unattended while they're charging so uh, if I'm out in the yard and I want to check and see if a pack's full to plug up a new pack, I can just pull this cam up and see how long I got before the next one's ready. So it works, it works out pretty good. Uh, so that's, that's how I store them and that's how I charge them. And let me see if I can get this GoPro off here and show you where the camera's at. It's a wise cam. Uh, I guess I should go over what, what all this costs. I bought this. This is actually a gun safe at Harbor Freight. The gun safe was uh, $60. They got one for $120, which I kind of wish I'd have bought it now. It's twice as big and it has a shelf, so you could store everything in there and charge everything in there. But this was $60 at Harbor Freight. 
The ammo box was $15 at Harbor Freight. Uh, the wise camera, which I'm going to show you. Let me take this thing off the uh, tripod. The wise camera is $20. And uh, it's actually uh, no service fee or nothing. You know, And it's actually, I don't know if you can see it, it's up in the corner right there. This safe does have uh, eight ho small holes in it. You can see there's four on the back, and then there's four on the bottom. <clears throat> I've got it sitting on two cap blocks. That way if fire was to break out in there, it wouldn't get so hot that it could set my uh, workbench here on fire. And uh, that's pretty much it. If, you, if you're gonna use a safe like this, make sure you use a safe can't do this with this in my hand. Let me see if I can do this. Make sure you use a safe that does not have a spring-loaded lock. The one I was using before had a spring-loaded lock, meaning if a fire was to break out in there and that spring was to heat up and fail, the door would fly open on it. So that's why I went with this one because it's not spring-loaded. <clears throat> and it does a, does a pretty good job. I like it so far. I've probably had it probably about three weeks. And I like being able to charge it in a contained unit like it. I was kind of worried about the charger overheating, but I guess with them four holes in there, it gets enough air right now, but we're in the middle of winter here in South Carolina. So we'll see when we get around 90, 95, 100 degrees, how it holds up and uh, go from there. We might have to put another fan in there, I don't know, but uh, I'll update you if I do. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and remember until next time i love you but god loves you more did i say i hope you enjoyed this video enough in this video 